Washington's Clear Thinking Headquarters. The Morning Majority, 5 to 9 on 630 WMAL. 37 with the Morning Majority. Redskins taking on the Giants on Sunday. The NFL is off and off to a great start last night with the Packers and the was, Saints game. Right? I didn't get to see it all, but that was a, what I saw was a really good game. Trevor Maddish joins us now. Uh, Comcast Sportsnet, ESPN. Did you uh, enjoy that game last night, Trev? Uh, it, it the box score looks fantastic. <laughs> so you didn't watch it, huh? I no, I didn't. But I tell you, I, it, I just looked at all the points and I'm going, "Where's the defense?" Crazy. Normally, the defense is the one that that uh, it has the edge. You know, what I was, what I was thinking about that when I saw it because I, I, I like you didn't watch m- most of the game. Um, it, before in the off season, everybody's talking about how great Drew Brees was because he got all of his teammates together and was practicing despite the lockout. Meanwhile, Aaron Rodgers did absolutely nothing with his teammates. They didn't organize anything and was being chastised for it. He still put up 42 points last night. Yeah, you know what? You know what that serves is is for the players who don't like all the OTAs and stuff to say, look, we don't need that. We don't need hitting in training right. camp. We don't need off-season practices. Look how good we can be without that stuff. So that's what they'll say, and they'll be wrong. Sure. Trevor, Trevor, I gotta ask you. I actually didn't watch a lot of preseason ball. I never do. I just sign up for the regular season. But uh, I wanted to ask you. So, this kickoff rule annoying me. Uh, we're sitting around. There's a lot of hang time. A lot of dudes standing around. A lot of dudes who are really fast. Who I'd like to see run really fast. Standing and waiting. Yep, I agree with you. And right there, Mary Catherine, the NFL needs to know they have potentially lost a viewer. At least during kickoffs. I mean, you'll have it over on some other right, channel. Yeah, we'll when pretend, the kickoffs yeah. over, you'll put it back on the game, right? <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, it's the true. That's, a, that's one of my favorite parts. No, yeah. it's not fun anymore. Yeah. When you got somebody and, like Brandon Banks on the team, you want to let that guy have a chance. Exactly. Right. It's kind of an equalizer. The, the Bears weren't, a, weren't a really a Super Bowl caliber team, top to bottom, when Rex Grossman took them there a few years ago. But Devin Hester, their returner, really lifted them up and elevated them beyond their offensive limitations. So, yeah, the thing is, though, and I, and I can see what the NFL is talking about here, a disproportionate number of concussions occur during kickoff right. because people run full speed, slam into each other, and understand the, the kind of player that covers a kickoff. He's not quite sane. He's the kind of guy that, just if he's bored on a Thursday in the off season, will run into a tree just, just for the experience of it. So these guys don't have regard for their bodies when they go down there. And I think the NFL has decided, and I think rightly so, that taking care of those players, especially from long-term ramifications of head trauma, is, is more important uh, if they're going to err on the side of, of something, let it be on the side of, of taking care of players' brains and yeah. I get that, but Mary Catherine, I'm with you. There's got to be a, a better way to do it than to remove one of the most exciting yeah. things from the game. Like I feel like between head trauma and an exciting game with an exciting kickoff return, that's a false choice, as the president would say. Yes, nicely done. <laughs> See, good. You're in Washington D.C. You get this stuff. Yeah, there's always a way to make everything political. Yeah. Hey, here, you know, let me see if I can feign some excitement here. Woohoo! The beginning of the Rex Grossman mm-hmm. era. Woohoo! That's right. Woohoo! Now let's hope it doesn't become boohoo. But yeah, woohoo! Rex Grossman, yay! Okay, how's that? Are we done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, now, that, now, I mean, it, I was shocked that he that that Shanahan picked Grossman over Beck. Yeah, I was too. And they haven't really fully explained it, Brian. All they've really said when asked was, "Well, he beat Beck out." Okay. Well. How? Well, he played better. Uh, that's all you got, really? Well, he said it was very equal. What was, do you think, the edge that made it go to Grossman? I think it's just personal preference at that point, because it was very equal. Well, you sort of thought the personal preference was leaning the other direction. Well, you know, I, it, it's it's becoming clear that I think one of the Shanahan's kind of liked Beck. Uh, maybe the younger one and the older Shanahan kind of likes Grossman. And so the older guy won. Yeah, the older guy. The Head dad, coach always wins. Mike Shanahan, the younger guy, the offensive coordinator, Kyle Shanahan. And, and, and they haven't confirmed that either, but people that I've talked to inside that organization give me that impression. So either way, you know, it's, it's, it's not like we're picking between, you know, John Elway in his, in his prime 
and Gumby. <laughs> you know, it, it's Although uh, Gumby it, very flexible. <laughs> yeah, he'd better be behind this offensive line if they don't play better than last year. <laughs> All right, uh, so they're taking on the Giants uh, this weekend, a beat-up Giants team. Um, you know, Redskins are underdogs by three. What do you think going into the game on Sunday at 415? It, it, I think the Redskins, or the, the Redskins quarterback, Grossman, is primed to potentially have a big game and lead a big win and get a lot of passing yards. This stacks up really well for the Redskins looking at it pre-game because the Giants are a mess. They're a mess. They've got a lot of defensive starters injured, including their middle linebacker, including their two best pass rushers. Yeah. Osa Yubinyora is out. Justin Tuck might not play. That really helps the Redskins. And then they've got four cornerbacks, the guys that have to cover those receivers, out with injury. So if the Redskins' offensive line can can block the depleted defensive front of the Giants and give Grossman time to throw, then the Redskins' newly strong wide receiver core could run wild and so you know th- this stacks up to be a uh, potentially good day for the new quarterback all right i'm gonna put you on the spot i want you to give me a record a final record for the washington that's Redskins right wait not come on we need to put this down in well, the 2011 season uh they'll win some and they'll lose some. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no come on <laughs> don't weasel out on us here trevor I know, I come on weasel out. you know you know something i think i think winning <clears throat> eight games this year eight and eight would be a, a good improvement for the Redskins. Uh-huh. Now they might they might stay healthy and catch lightning in a bottle and and do more than that. But I think eight wins would be uh, would be solid improvement on the track that they're on. All right, that would be okay. solid improvement. Neiman, but, what, Neiman. but I want to know. I mean, what you need to give me eight and eight? Is that your record? Yeah, eight and eight. All right, eight and eight. Uh, is Neiman, your what do you think? Um, I'm thinking I'm thinking seven and nine. I'll go I'll go under on the eight. Mary Catherine. I'll jump it up to nine. Really? Nine yeah. and seven? Sure. I'm going to be sanguine about You're it. You're well, expectations up. Now if they win eight, <laughs> we'll think they failed. I, I, hey, I, reserve the right, I reserve the right to adjust this after the first game. No. Oh, no. Who's <laughs> thinking that, I, out now? I have some hope that, you know, I'm, I'm the eternal optimist. I say they win ten games. <laughs> All right. I'll what have it. I'll what have was it that? I'm entitled to that opinion. Yeah, you, you don't get to just... I'll, you know. ha- I'll have what he's drinking at 744 in the morning. <laughs> Thanks, Trevor. We'll talk to you on Monday. Okay, Brian.